Oh man, once again it's on with popping Battle Rat fans and supporters. Welcome back to the culture here on T7M Radio. I'm your host as always, the Kid 7 Mitchell. So tonight, we're going to lock in. I know some may wonder, who the fuck is 7 Mitchell? Like, who is this kid? Like, um, we're going to get into it. I'm going to bring my co-host, Miss Lundy, on deck. She's going to pick my brain or at least attempt to. We're going to kick back tonight. Talk some shit, you know what I'm saying? And... And, and, and see what's popping. So, without further ado, let me go ahead and get the girl Lundy on the line. Yo, Lundy, what's popping? Hey, greetings. <laughs> what's good? Everything's all right. Everything's all right. You know, um, you know, fake the fake snowstorm that they OD with, but they was prepared, so you know that was good. It wasn't that much snow, so. So, everybody was indoors, so I'm indoors. I'm just ready to pick your brain. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going we gonna to heat up tonight. So, most definitely appreciate you, as always, here yeah, on the Coach Rock now with the kid. Definitely building. So, you know what I mean? What's, what's, what's goody? How, how is your um 2015 so far? We got this new venture, me and you started, you know what I mean, here on the yes. Coach back about the beginning of January. So, how you feeling right now? Um... You know, it's all love here. It's it's um, it's good to to have this venture with with, with just someone that's genuine. You know what I'm saying? Um, me, I'm a good judge of character, and like I just levitate, almost say gravitate, not levitate, gravitate towards genuity. That's something I always speak about. You hear me say that word a lot, and like you are just like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, you you know you my heart. You know that. Just what you have done for this culture and what you, like I always say, have done for people personally. So I needed to, to do this and want to do this, you know what I'm saying, as far as, you know what I'm saying, get to know you, get, get to know you better, but also for, for the people, the audience, you know what I'm saying, as well. So I think this is something that's going to be very interesting. <laughs> My first question is, okay, in regards to, I know where you're from, you know what I'm saying, your accent, I think it's adorable. Um... Let the people know Ow. where you from. Where you hail from? <laughs> where you from, me? Already, Baltimore City. Born and raised in Baltimore City. Um, just being from B more. Okay, I'm gonna just go way back a little bit. Um, when did you fall in love with, or I'm gonna say, you know, what I'm saying, had this thing for just the culture, not battle rap, but just hip hop. And just hip hop and music. You know, what I mean, pretty much. From a little kid, you know what I'm saying? Raw bass, easy rock, it takes two, you know what I'm saying? Run DMC back in the days like the Fat Boys, the Crush Crew, you know what I mean? I come from that era, so, you know, as a kid right. coming up, you know what I mean? I've always been hip to the, the hip hop culture. As far as battle rap, you know, not to get ahead of myself, you know, mm -hmm. I, I gotta, I kinda gotta give props to my one of my younger brothers. He really, you know what I mean? I played the streets a lot, he was in the house a lot, so I would come in the crib and He'd be on his computer in the room, you know what I mean, watching battles. And I think one of the first battles I caught wind of was Mook versus Party Artie. He was watching it. And I've been hooked since then, man. I just got to think for wordplay and, you know, lyricism, shit like that. So, In regards to uh, just this realm that, you know what I'm saying, you have touched, you know what I'm saying, which is your presence. And it's just a, such a, it's just a good presence. You know, you, we have... Um, you know, these different bloggers, these different uh, hosts who have these different leagues. All this stuff within the realm of just battle rap, you know what I'm saying? When right. did battle rap when did battle rap first cross your radar? Um I, I say like late nineties, early two thousands, um, you know, the, the smack I waiting for you all like I said when we had um, Moot versus Lux part one and Party Yardy, J Mills, and, and, and that 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 time frame is really when I got locked into the culture itself. You also spoke when I actually was from. You said Baltimore City. Shout out to Baltimore City. I got family out there. Word. Where where you're from, right? Is battle rap heavy? I know. Shout out to Shock and Pit Fights. I know they, you know, what I'm saying they kind of ones that put me more on the map when it comes to you know, what I'm saying battling. But in regards to just is it. Uh, something that you know, like how it is up here in New York. Like it's like this. It's 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 kind of nostalgic now. Is it is it like right. that too in Baltimore? 
I always feel like when it comes to my city and battle rap, like you will never know who knows about this culture until you bring it up first in a conversation. Like, I don't know how it is up in New York, but you can't go into a barbershop in Baltimore. You're not going to go really a lot of places walking into a conversation about, you know, URL, any type of battles. But if you bring it up, niggas is on it. Niggas can, you know, hold a conversation with you. You know, niggas is up to date with the current events and battles and, and, and all that's going on. But you just don't never hear it, you know, initiated in my city. So, like you said, shout out to Shock and Pit Fights. You know, they've definitely been doing their thing for a minute. Um, mm-hmm. Doing everything they can. Um, but I'm just saying, you know, overall in the general public, going to different public places. Like I said, barbershops and, you know, shit like that. In Baltimore, you rarely hear conversations about bad rap unless you bring it up first. And we you know what, that's kind of crazy you said that because in New York right now, it's not something that's the same. It's kind of like the same thing. Like back in, I'm going to say like 09, 08, 09, you know what I'm saying? I know in Brooklyn, you know, my uncle's brought a shop and just, you know what I'm saying, just outside in the summertime. You know what I'm saying? Battle rap was something that you walked into niggas arguing, you know what I'm saying? Or, or b- building an argument and debating heavy. Now it's kind of like everything is it's not like that. It's kind of like, like you said, if it's brought up. The niggas will conversate about it and then build on it and get into debates about it. But um, what do you think about some of the cats, you know what I'm saying, and females that uh, came in with um, kind of like the start, you know what I'm saying, as far as maybe vets came in with the start of the reemergence, that's the word, reemergence of battle rap, um, that are still around today. What do you think about some of them? Or the ones that you can pick up off top? Well, if we're talking about people like Rex, Hustle, um, you know, people like that, you know, I got a lot of respect for them, win or lose, just for the simple fact that they are able to readjust. Like, really, in this in this battle rap coach, the fans are so hard on the particular artist. Like, you do see times where they show favoritism, a lot of biasness, but overall, fans, for the most part, are not going to allow an artist to consistently come with a bunch of bullshit you understand what i'm saying and if you've been doing this for a while and you're able to readjust to this new competition even if you're not always winning but you know you're able to hang in there got a lot of respect for that okay this is a question that <laughs> that nigga verb i'm gonna need him to put on socks when he battle in the summertime anyway <laughs> 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 okay, this question is a good one. What makes you happy about the progress uh, the sport has made? That's part one. In battle rap, um, honestly, the opportunity for people like me um, to to be able to to do stuff in in the culture. Like, I've never been big on views and shit like that, but right now. You know what I mean? This time with this battle record, it's allowing bloggers and radio, you know, personalities to come into the fold and do their thing. So it allows the general public to get involved as well and, and, and transform from being just a fan of the culture, you know, to a supporter of the culture, which in, the, in effect will help, you know, build it. All right. And part two is what makes you. Or what makes you disappointed about, you know what I'm saying, what has transpired with, you know what I'm saying, with Battle Rap since its reemergence? The same exact thing that, <laughs> you know, makes me happy, disappoints me the most because if you don't have originality, if you don't have creativity, you know what I'm saying, it's just like you're going in circles. And it doesn't matter how many different uh, media outlets you have in the Battle Rap community, if people are not willing to think outside the box you know use their own brain and you know come up with their own ideas and opinions and views it's like a relay race and you're just going in circles so this 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 thing is kind of like the gift and the curse i need to be honest with you right i agree i agree what 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 was it that 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 kind of sparked you to to decide to um you know what I'm saying to 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 do what to do what it is that you do for this culture, and I must reiterate that what you do for this culture is unique. You know what I'm saying is is unique, is special, and it's also um, something that 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 teaches. You know what I'm saying it, it's it's always information ain't knowledge. A lot of people need right. to know that. Need, know y'all shit, people. Information is not knowledge, and then it makes it worse when y'all niggas is giving out the wrong info. 
You know right. what I'm saying? Y'all reporting, y'all reporting irresponsibly. You know what I'm saying? Creating drama for yourselves and creating potential smacks for yourselves and beatdowns for yourselves because y'all talking wrestling instead of reporting or responsibly and doing your research and knowing what it is that you talk about. Mitch does that. So what was it that you know what I'm saying sparked you to um, start? You know what I'm saying the radio media. Well, with me, you know, I started blogging probably about a year ago. A little over a year ago is when I, you know, was my, my first um, media experience in the battle rap community. It, it kind of, like I said before, it kind of tied into, you know, where I'm from. You know, nobody really talks about, you know, the sport unless you bring it up first. So it's like I needed to get, I needed to get that shit out. You know what I mean? I had nobody really to talk to when it came down to, you know, recaps and talking about battles predictions for events so you know i opted to take the blog and um you know lane you know just to reach out to the people and, and get some feedback about you know how people uh you know thought about certain battles and things of that nature you know uh, locking in the people like unbiased review um right. you know i started to lock into him and, and and seeing how he was you know more structured you know with his blogs and having topics and things right. of that nature so it really motivated me to you know kind of take it serious but uh, initially doing this blog thing i just took it as a phone conversation to you know just reach out to other people because it really wasn't like that in my city you know what i mean just to get opinions on how people was you know feeling about different battles um, right so that's so that's really what the opportunity was and you know over time i just try to keep perfecting my craft and, and, and networking with you know other amateur bloggers and then around june time um of last year is when I started, well, around April or May, I actually started, you know, the first radio opportunity for myself. And, um, you know, I, I thought that was dope, too. You know, just something extra to kind of, you know, get myself out there and get opinions and views and, and allow the people, um, you know, to speak and give their opinion. I'm not right. big on guests. You know, I'm not real big on Me guests either. when it comes to my show. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather right. talk to, to the streets. So that's right. really the, the biggest thing for me um lundy when it came to me starting with the media shit is, is to allow the something for the people you know what i mean such as myself to you know talk out shit right and that's so awesome that's so awesome because i think that um you know just in regards to just the way you do things you know what i'm saying shout out chris and bias let me just say this about him Niggas be calling him gay and talking about his his mustache got zero percent body fat, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But Chris Unbiased be talking circles around niggas and I love the way he does his blog. I love the way he And niggas fuck with him. Niggas go to him and do they they, they do that un, uh what is it, the untold truth they do with him? Untold truth. So obviously right, so obviously they feel something. It's the ones it's a lot of Twitter niggas that hate on him. It's a lot of other other bloggers that be fake networking, yeah I'm fucking saying it, that hate on him. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that, you know what I'm saying, you, um, you know what I'm saying, that you gave him his pops, but you kind of, the way you do it is different. You know what I'm saying? Like him, I, when he made that blog, um, uh, like the response to uh, to Queen's Flip, I seen the funny mm -hmm. side of because everything was bad anal with him before, but it was good. He was un really unbiased. You know what I'm saying? But then when he made the, the blog, the response to Queen's Flip, so he, uh, he got a sense of humor. He's funny. So he will right. be, you know, some, someone that's relevant. The same here, like I, I always bite my tongue on the show, <laughs> and I, I feel a little by little I'm gonna stop doing that. But just the, you know, what I'm saying just the cadence, every the way he's handling things is something that's different than me, and that's another reason why it's an honor to be, you know, what I'm saying close to the show. But back to I definitely um, appreciate that. Definitely appreciate oh, you already my know. Thing with, and I got my biggest thing. And with, I got that back. <laughs> you know that. My thing with it. My thing with it, Lundy. You know what I mean? Why I try to be so. Uh, at least semi-structured and organized because you know what I mean I look at this this opportunity with this whole you know radio and I look at it as an opportunity for you know to put on my resume just in case another door open for me you know what I mean I right. want to kind of condition myself on how to do things right like, yeah, everybody got their own lane and shit like that but you know I, I'm just trying to think outside the box and, and I don't want to limit myself to just bad rap you understand what I'm saying so I right. feel like I'm able to, to format a, a, a dope structure when it comes to this battle rap shit somebody maybe in sports or somebody that might be you know looking for some potential you know i've been coming to see how i give it up you know what i mean and maybe can work with me 
you know, so I can kind of build my own brand a little bit bigger than what it currently is. Mm. And it's the fact that you have brought it. Saying shout out to the panel and everybody. You know, what I'm saying, brother Jeff, <laughs> these everybody that calls in, all those kings. You know what I'm saying? It, it compliments you. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's a good look. The panel is a good look. It's not five ratchet niggas and a ratchet chick like other shows. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking shit now because I can. You know what I'm saying? It's, oh, everybody yeah. has, everybody has, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Uh, the way we build and interact is good. Everybody you can tell is articulate. Everybody articulates in their own way, but it's not, it's never nothing ignorant on the show. We know what we're talking about, and everybody respects, and we cause, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I build, we build. You know, after my first experience with, you know, the, the, the radio and, and putting a group together, you know, I, I made it my business this go around, um, you know, to fuck with straight, mature people. Like, I'm 36, you feel what I'm saying? I'll I, mm -hmm. I be 37 this year, so, you know, everybody on my debate panel, we all grown, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's young you know what i mean even if we're young at heart everybody grown everybody pretty much have their own you know situation going like you yourself you know you got the bar dog you got your own radio show you know my brother dz shout out to him he the host of body count radio he's managing some artists in battle rap you know brother jeff he does his journalist thing for t7m radio you know we right. got my homie jay he's the publicist for t7m radio so everybody is you know individually doing their own thing and you know it's a more mature type of feel so we can debate we talk our shit you know how we give it up london you know right. every week but it's like you said before it's always out of respect you know what i'm saying we don't bite our tongue but we organize and we know how to structure you know allow other people to get in and rebuttal and 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 and, and that's why it's working right now so i really all the props when it comes to what's going on so far I, it, it really goes all to y'all because y'all you know, really making this shit pop i just try to format it i fall back and you know I mean, i'm a fan first so i enjoy all of every right night. and that's what and that's what it's about um favorite battle what is this favorite, favorite battle my favorite battle um I, uh, just initially, I'm going to have to say probably Tay Rock and Charlie Clips, the rematch, because I fought for that rematch for so long, thinking that it would never happen. And then when it happened, I was super crazy and I was satisfied with the actual, you know, battle. So I, right now, probably say Tay Rock Clips, the rematch. But anyway, <laughs> my next question, what do you think about these smaller leagues on the rise? Um, I love the the grittiness to it. You know what I mean? I, I no disrespect. You know the the trap house. We go hard. You know what I mean? Not saying that they are small leagues, but I love their grittiness because we just had no mercy on um Body Count Radio last night. Shout out again to my brother D. Shout out Mercy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had no mercy on last night. We were just talking about you know. I always felt like eventually these leagues, Lundy, whether it's King of the Dot, URL, they're going to have to uh, eventually, you know, come up with their own roster and start going at each other like hard to solidify who's the, you know, the real number one league outside of these little subliminal shits. And, you know, King of the, I mean, tr Trap House and We Go Hard, they really spit that heat. They really like calling each other out. You know what I'm saying? So... I got mad respect for it, and I, and I think as far as competition-wise for the sport, that's what, uh, uh, another thing that's really going to help this shit grow. So I'm really mm -hmm. feeling the, 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 the smaller leagues right now. But who's the better quarterback, um, Elway or Montana? Oh, these questions are fire. Oh, uh, definitely the homie <laughs> Joe Montana is the greatest ah. quarterback of all time. You all right? All right. All right. I just have to make sure that you, you know what you're talking about. Okay. All right. All right. N next question. Greatest ball you ever heard that comes to your mind, like, as soon as it comes here? The first thing I thought, and I know it's probably not the greatest, but just the first thing that popped in my mind was that the, re the Daisy rebuttal that Newborn had against uh, Bricks Belvey in that second round against that battle when he rebuttaled that shit like that. I'm still stuck on that. All right, here's another right. question. What do you think about certain organizations that don't have much organization? <laughs> um, I'm talking about I'm talking about leagues. When I say organization, I'm talking about leagues. Okay, let me leagues. I try to give organizations to make them sound a little bit more 
I, I look at it the same. I look at it in the same in, in the same like leagues, bloggers, radio stations. If you don't have no organization, no type of foundation, no structure, you gonna wind up copycat. You know what I mean? You mm-hmm. cannot copy respect. You feel what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. We've been knowing this over and over and over again. But if you don't have no type of um, you know, direction and no blueprint, you ain't gonna have no choice but to you know mimic somebody else's move. You just gonna have to try to revamp it a little bit. But all right, let me piggyback off of that. You saying, uh, like, you know, they have the slogan, you can't copy respect. There's a lot of niggas out here that, okay, you can't hate on another league that creates their own shit for themselves. Like, niggas be saying you can't copy respect. But all, I, all I see is that that's kind of hate. So if another league did accomplish what you couldn't, that's not copying what you doing, what you couldn't get done. So why are they copying, you know what I'm saying, or why are they trying to emulate you if you got what you what you tried to accomplish done and you didn't? You know, niggas be calling other leagues saying they copycat and this, this and that. Right. How do you feel about that? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or do I have to give examples? Because I don't give examples. No, no, I'm calling it. I don't I give a fuck. Like, I look at it just like, you know what I mean, a, a nigga just using, you know what I mean. My thing about it is I feel like the URL, I can't really speak for them, but when I when I feel like they say you can't copy respect, you know what I mean, I just feel like they was under the impression or just feeling like niggas was building and making noise from artists, from their particular artists. Like, you can have your own bag of dope, but if you're using the same bags that we using on my block, People ain't really, you know what I mean? The junkies really ain't going to tell the difference. The fiends is going to grab it because they think it's the same shit. It looks the same. So, you know what I mean? It's just like, okay, you can take out, you can take out artists, but you ain't going to be able to promote your events like you is. The turnouts ain't going to be the same. It's not going to be that same feel. You're not going to have no ring card girls like we give it up. You're not going to have no Don DeMarco like us. So, that's, that's where I see. Right. Okay, now let me just speak to the people for a minute. Mitch is the one that has done, like I said, has done a lot to support us through the time. You know what I'm saying? Everything that he does to me is, is just unique. It's different. Um, and he's also done things for people. You know what I'm saying? And w- without, nothing, without asking for anything in return, no agenda. You know what I'm saying? Um, how do you feel about, you know what I'm saying, uh, unoriginality when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, certain... Uh, so it's so desperate to want to be accepted or in this realm that you have no originality and that you'll, you know what I'm saying, kind of slave you or smut yourself out just for a little bit of recognition. I mean, I can go into depth with names and I probably will, but I just want you to answer that part of the question first. Uh, well, you know what I mean? Uh, well, okay, well, we'll talk a little bit more specific a little later, but just generally, um... <sighs> I, I don't respect it. I mean, I, you, you you can't respect it. I, I don't respect it. I, it's I, I I'll just generally say I don't respect it. When you get more specific, then I probably can get a little bit more specific. <laughs> I love that answer. I gotta cross my legs. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> hey, crack your knuckles. It's going down here in the coach. You already know. <laughs> yes. All right. Here's a question for you. Favorite female body part? I'm in love with the. I'm gonna have to. The cheeks. Uh, your butt, man. Okay. Oh yeah. <sighs> um, dream battle. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. Like, I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. Negro. <laughs> Buffoonery. <laughs> you ain't lying. Yeah. You not lying. No, no, no. I'm, no, I'm probably. Serious. You gonna come up with some shit like you like the back of a bitch calf or something, right? Something sexy. <laughs> I got you. Like I like her eyes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> And we got to booty just, real quick. <laughs> no, I had to cross my legs and adjust my bar because I am holding. <laughs> um, in regards to the uh, your, your brand, can you explain just a little bit what you how you started as far as you know what I'm saying all the entities that you started so that these niggas will know out here what it is. Word. Well, about two years ago, um, I started a production brand called Team Seven Mitchell. Um, so it's T7M for short. Um, I had aspirations of doing an urban magazine, and I wanted the magazine to touch different topics, sports, relationships, you know, a lot of different things. So I had um, was trying to think of a way to kind of, you know, come about doing that. And everything is online now, so, you know, the transition from things being on paper to the Internet, 
I had to try to adjust to. So my initial thing was to come up with a team of bloggers that can touch, you know, speak on different topics. So I networked and, and came up with a group of bloggers all across the world. I mean, Switzerland, Russia, all across the United mm. States, Canada, um, and, and South Africa. And they touch different topics like bullying, you know, relationships, different things like that. Yes. Um, so I started that about a year and a half, two years ago. Then, you know, fucking with the battle rap shit, I got into um, blogging by myself. And then I said, well, I might as well um, try this venture you know, maybe build a collaboration group of amateur bloggers on the battle website. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, I did a little bit of homework and, you know, I reached out and started networking with a couple amateur bloggers that, you know, just started doing their little blogging thing in the battle rap shit. And, um, you know, after a little bit of time, I came up with the idea to, to create this movement called the PG Blogger Movement. It was like, you know, prolific global bloggers. Um, it was myself. I was out in Baltimore. I had my guy K Doze out in California. Um, I had the out Sincere out in New York. Yeah, shout out Dozy. Had Sincere out in New York, and we also had um, the Read Between the Bars crew out in London. I, I, um, you know, recruited them, and so, you know, we were kind of all over, um, and we started that probably last May. Um, I did some collaborations with different people. I brought on. Um, a young lady into the group Mighty with the flow I brought her into the camp around late May around late May and, and we started that um, got the radio show popping the original PG bloggers radio show in June um, and now I'm, I'm you know I'm back you know not really square one but I you know I, I just felt like LeBron I wanted to go back home you know what I mean to focus on my own thing so now I'm back with T7M radio and you know making moves Yes, and I think that um, that was a good move. Yeah, I'm saying it. I think that was a good move. I just think that sometimes, um, you know, in, in the realm you come across people who, you know what I'm saying, who have agendas or people who don't get it. You know what I'm saying? And no matter how hard you may, what good you do for people, it's about choice. You know what I'm saying? Right. I think that if you if you think about it, you shouldn't choose to, 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 to bite the hand or try to style on somebody that puts you on. You know what I'm saying? Because what winds up happening is that you picking up eggs, you're going to wind up picking up egg, wiping egg, or picking up your face and wiping egg off of it for a mad long time. You know what I'm saying? Or you're going to be in a situation where you're going to be stagnated. Some people, they, and I'm speaking on it, this is Lundy speaking on it, you know what I'm saying, was, was I feel ungrateful, greedy, and just, and, and just thirsty for some type of, uh, uh, of attention. So where you smutting yourselves out now and you doing street team foot soldiering for nothing. Yeah, I fucking said it. You know what I'm saying? You know, mention some... Go ahead, sweetie. Go ahead, my bad. No, no, I didn't mean to cut you off. What you going to say? No, no, I was just saying that. I'm saying I was going to speak in regards to you. You know, you did something, you know what I'm saying, personally good. I'm not even going to talk about that. You know what I'm talking about. Personally good for people. And right. Instead of appreciating it, it's, you know, because you figure this is... And this ain't even nothing that's really famous. See, people forget the difference between being famous and being a star. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you a star or when you are, and you're not even affiliated with that. When, when, like, with these battle rappers, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to say, with these battle rappers, you know what I'm saying, in these realms, it's a situation where we love them or, or, or got love for this realm because of, because at that time of its purity. You know what I'm saying? Because of the fact that they hungry. It's, it's pure with battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Then you see how niggas Hollywood start changing up. You see how league owners and, and, and people in organizations start changing up. When you and your purity of whatever it is that you're doing, people love you for that, that you what you're doing. When you become a star, people still love you, but they love you for everything wrong, everything that you can do for them, what show you can get them to, what car you can get them, what bitches you can get them to fuck after the show, what backstage pageant, etc. Well, how much room you can get on stage, and what these, you know what I'm saying, these, these certain individuals, you're doing all that, flipped on somebody that was good, or did somebody dirty, and for what, a, a space on stage? Fuck out of here. Y'all wildin' for respect to get stood on stage, and nobody's even entertaining y'all. Yeah, I fucking said that too. The thing about it, you know what I mean, is it, the reason why, you know, this, this situation doesn't really bother me, and, and, I, and I know we kind of tied in talking about the whole PG blogger thing. Right. The, the, the reason why it doesn't really bother me, because I understand, 
just like you said, there's a difference between being famous, being popular. Some people are not used to having nobody talk to them, acknowledge them. Some people don't have friends. Shit is real. Like, this battle rap thing really provides us an opportunity for, to be a voice. You know what I mean? We, some of us were not, you know, so quote-unquote popular in school or just not social. Some of us, you know, stayed to ourselves. Nobody really knew us. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So this allows us to really come out of our shell so to speak the problem is when you when you're not mature enough to be able to understand that you're still the same person you know what i'm saying saying regardless of a shout out or a high five anything like that you're still the same g you feel what i'm saying you gotta stick to your guns you know remain humble and, and, and make it work for you so so i think you know that was one of the issues you know, it, everybody wanted to be a chief, but it, 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 it just, you know. Man, all right, well, we ain't going to talk about that no more. <laughs> um, i got a couple of more questions. If, what would you do, okay, the state, we always ask the same question, the, the state of battle rap, right? What would you, Mitch, or even though you already have and play things to do to make it or try to keep it fresh, what would you do for as far as, um, uh, uh, in regards to just what would you do to to help keep the culture from like sizzling out? Because I see I gave this shit six months, six months ago, so like it's right here at the at the calling mark for me. And um, you know I don't want to see it die. I, I don't want to see. It, I don't think it's going to die. The word fizzle, you know, the term fizzle out is what I would use because battle rap was way before URL it fizzled out and then smack, you know, URL it kind of came in with the reemergence even before the lyricist lounge. So that was kind of like the reemergence of it. So what would you do to keep that from keep it relevant? I should say. Um, I would just say consistently continue to do what I do now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, try to provide an uh, outlet for, you know, the streets, the fans, the supporters to be able to, you know, speak and, you know, give their opinions outside of just hearing everything that the battlers got to say. Like, I'm, I fucks with this battle rap culture, Lundy. You know what I mean? But please don't get it fucked up. I'm not interested in flying state to state, going to this event, that event, taking pictures with niggas. I'm not friends with none of these niggas in this battle rap shit. I learned real quick, and I've just been into this thing for a year or so. This shit is like a fraternity. You understand what I'm saying? And it's either you right. in or you out. You I'd out. rather be on the outside looking in. I'd rather build my own conglomerate. You know what I mean? I'm dealing with a lot of independent trendsetters. You got yourself. You got my brother, DZ. Like, we don't piggyback off of no one. We do our own thing independently. We take chances. You know what I'm saying? And everything falls on us, whether it's a positive or a negative. So I don't have no friends in this battle rap shit. I don't want no friends. My main thing and the one thing that I would just can do to make sure that this shit continue to pop is just to continue to uh, uh, have some type of platform or outlet that will allow, you know, a couple of people to get their shit off. As long as, you know what I mean, we can keep it constructive. I'm good with what I'm doing right now. So I just want to keep it consistent. That's it. Okay. And I'm glad I'm part of that, part of that movement. Um Thanks. <laughs> All right, this is a question that's kind of unorthodox. What <laughs> I'm gonna ask you, what would, <laughs> what do you think I should do <laughs> in regards to my formula on the show? Do you think that being more reserved is what is is needed, or to just continue to do what it is that I do? Do you think gonna get beat up? Bring yeah, him we, on. I, yeah, we're gonna bring the we're gonna bring the homies in in one second. Let me just answer that real quick. Um, yes, please. I've been doing this battle rap shit, like I said, for over a year. And, you know what I mean, for what it's worth, I've gotten a lot of respect from, you know, my fellow peers in this game, as well as artists, league owners, fans, supporters. I've gotten a lot of respect. But I have never, ever had so many different people on so many different social media platforms hit me up about this radio show when it comes to you. Every day, every social network, people are hitting me. Who's that girl on your show? Who's your co-host? 
What's Lundy's Twitter? What's Lundy's Facebook? Like, niggas are loving your swagger because you have so much knowledge. You don't bite your tongue. You're aggressive with it. There's absolutely nothing I really can tell you. I, I put you, you are the X factor to the new swag that we got going here in 2015. So, you know, the, the pleasure really is all mine because you bring that balance. You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm not... I'm real laid back, real chill. I'm real like a mediator, moderator. That's why this whole debate thing is easy for me because I don't really have to do much. You know what I'm saying? I set everything right. up, try to keep everything organized, and I let niggas rock out. But you bring life, you know what I'm saying? And you, you say shit that males and females alike are really afraid to say. You feel what I'm saying? So if, if there's anything that I could just ask... Is that you just stay consistent with what you're doing You know what I mean I, I appreciate the respect that you have for me You know what I'm saying As far as how you be dumbing it down But you know what I mean I, I, I wouldn't have you on my show You know what I mean No other way than how I first ran into you So you know, salute okay. to you for that And that's the honor Kisses to you Bring DZ on so I can curse him the fuck out real quick He said that oh, Lundy right. Every day He hating on what you just said About niggas asking about me Every day He like come on son That ain't even how you're supposed to type this shit nigga It's supposed to be C-M-O-N Son Not spell it out Come on son Mr. Rogers <laughs> typing ass nigga Come on son Yeah where you from Where you from Where you, uh, at, where you at DZ Talk that shit son Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, you know, I'm, I'm here I'm, I'm in the building <laughs> Where are you from, yo? Really? Where are you from? I know yo, you're not from New York. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, that explains a lot. Come on, son. It's supposed to be... It's supposed to be... Come on. Yo, what, wait, wait. Mitch, what is the cuckoo clock about? <laughs> that's how much I love that guy for y'all. When I, when I want to give y'all hugs, that's how I give hugs on the coach. I asked Mitch that question. DZ, you already, you know what, you already last week with it, with your Motor City Mayhem fuck up. But yeah, oh, yeah. now you <laughs> fucked up again. <laughs> now you fucked up again to my come on son. Then you said Lundy, Lundy, Lundy Lights Hay Rock Boys. I said Haterade hey, Tweet. You're going to get beat up, DZ. All, we're all love though, but you're going to get beat up. What's going on, King? How you doing? How you doing? Nah, I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. Like, I didn't know y'all was doing a surprise show tonight. Like, I would have been called up. It wasn't for you to call up. It was for me to pick Mitch Brain so that people could get to know I don't Mitch. care. I'm showing support to my brother. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, you in. We don't need the country that's like that right now. You mad country right now with it. I don't support you sound just like You sound like, Mo, you sound like Moonshine and a beanie. I sound like what? What is that? I said you sound like Moonshot in a mayonnaise jar, B, without the label. That's what you sound like. <laughs> I am honored to be here. Salute, brother. Yes, yes. sir. Let me really okay, quick, I got um, before we continue one more time, Lundy, let me go ahead just super quick. We'll bring on my, I believe it's my brother from the DFW Battle League. Just came off a crazy battle. With the homie Razil, um, I, I believe out in, I want to say out in VA, I think, but um, let me see if this is the homie Young Hero. Let's see if I can get Young Hero on real quick before we continue. Yo, Hero. What up, big homie? Oh, uh, no problem, man. You ain't know, you know, ain't nothing but a phone call away, man. You're rocking with us since day one. I respect the fact oh, you man. never got Hollywood on me, man. But I appreciate no it, bro. No to the rest of the PG bloggers. They all started messing with us, and they all got their little fame or love, whatever it was. They went Hollywood on the seven. Never left BFW battles. He still mess with us, still view our battles. Still love us. But, man, I'm still waiting for you to come down to VA, man. Oh, yeah, team. man. It, it, it's... It's definitely a go, man. I, I definitely appreciate it. Y'all niggas bring that original content. You know what I mean? I, I, you know what I mean? I was the one that's, you know what I mean, locked into y'all from the gate. So, you know, it's all good. Y'all niggas always got my respect, always got my support and love. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, regardless of, of what niggas doing or not doing, these niggas are out here watching what y'all do. So, you know, just continue to build and make your moves. And we're going to make it, my nigga. You already know. And that's another, and this is another reason why I don't speak on that situation as much, man, because I don't have to. You feel what I'm saying? Right. The streets already right. know what it is. You feel what I'm saying? So, right. Right. I understand. I just, you know what it is? I'm very, I'm going to say, like, in regards to just, like, family, I, and I take that word very seriously. You know, I'm not out here calling every boy my friend. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and. I, 
I, you know, I, I call men kings for a reason. My father taught me, you know, I was five percent of. My father taught me at a very young age to greet people as such, kings and queens. You know, a lot of people don't embrace what that is that they are. That's why they act how they do. You know, right. but and just in regards to just um, what it is that you do, you know, the same way that he came on the show, you show man love. It's not a Hollywood factor with you or none of the men on this panel. That's on this panel every week. I don't never feel uncomfortable I, 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 on here. And that's, that's something that... Um, it's very, you know what I'm saying, to be smiled upon. I'm going to say this as well. You know, you have whatever other, other kind of media outlets, whether it be b- battle leagues, radio shows, bloggers, um, just whatever it can be. They go to reach out to a female because of whatever it is. And I'm going to say this. It's never been... Uh, I've never felt that like like for instance Nunu Mills and Laura Targe yes I talk about these two bitches because that's what they is they airheads and they bitches but you know what they came to me but to speak the fact that they got recruited they got recruited be- because they don't know shit in all actuality and this is sad to say but you know leagues like you know what I'm saying hierarchy and things like that they will never recruit a female that will outshine them or that could build on the same level they don't want to be looked as equal them bitches don't know nothing but with you reaching out to me, it's because you respect the talk. And I've never been disrespected on this show. I'm very protective, overprotective of y'all. I won't let nobody come for none of y'all. That's how it is. Word. And it's we're on the real side. I will slap the shit out of somebody because this is how it is. Because, you know, some people take what it is as the so-called fame or what it is and let it go to their head. Now, realizing at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, the same way they came and recruited you, they could recruit somebody else. You understand what I'm saying? But I, you know the, the 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 weird part about it is the misconception that the that the general public has about this whole situation. I I actually think some people think that the URL had picked up that camp and is really like I don't think people understand the really logistics. It's nothing. It's it ain't about nothing. Niggas are still paying full price to get into these events. Niggas right. are begging. Niggas are begging for discounts. Niggas are begging to get on stage. Niggas are... People got this whole thing confused. I just sit back and I just laugh because I just be like, man, if niggas only knew half of the truth, you right. know what I'm saying? Smile, smiles will be turned upside down. But, you know, I let niggas live because, again, everybody is not used to this type of shit. It, 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 this whole battle rap thing drives them. You know what I mean? They mm-hmm. love it. And who am I to try to take shit away from somebody that really love this battle rap shit? Regardless of right. you know my feelings towards them, you know that's that was that was really the the main thing why I didn't you know um, it kind of shut the whole PG blogger shit down. You know what I mean? Shout out to my brother K Dose because he's still in it. You know what I mean? And you know what I mean? But you know these people genuinely got love for this battle rap shit. You know what I mean? Regardless mm-hmm. if they were going to be in the PG bloggers or do their own thing, these niggas genuinely got love for the culture and the sport. So it's just like, who am I to try to do anything? Regardless of the sicky shit that was done, you know, who am I to try to? You know, stop that. Stop progression. Because I know I can do my own thing. You know what I mean? And look right. where we are now. So, so right. you know, that's And this is the fact that, and that's what that's what I mean about just personally good, like g- genuity. You know what I'm saying? You let that, you let that rock. It, you didn't, it, it, you didn't throw monkey wrench in it. You didn't talk maliciously about it. You didn't try to blackball nobody. You know, sometimes people, Never. people bury their own selves in ballerina shoes. Yeah, I said that shit too. You understand what I'm saying? Just in regards to just. Um, you could have, you could have went that route. See how you see how on the flip side of how other niggas, they they blackballing niggas on a low, not even on a low no mm-hmm. more. They blackballing mm-hmm. niggas. They they on they on Twitter saying don't we we don't fuck with this person, don't fuck with that person. When in all actuality, that's what that's what's good and genuine about you. You know what I'm saying? And about the niggas for that so I mean, many, niggas, me. Go ahead, for so many months for so many months. I've had so many different people on so many different platforms telling me about inbox messages and DM messages that they're getting from, you know, from this camp asking questions about their relationship with me and, you know, the support that they show to my show versus their show. It's been a lot of funny style shit, you know what I mean, for the last couple Mm -hmm. of months. You know, again, like, yo, when you know how to build and rebuild and be a boss you know what i mean i'm not trying to toot my own horn like i'm making noise and shit like that but you know just being original being able to you know be creative and come up with your own ideas and being able to execute 
that type of shit don't mean nothing. You feel what I'm saying? At the end of the day, this shit. Right. Like, the only thing I will say, I'm not gonna have nobody disrespecting me, and I'm not gonna have niggas out here lying, you know, on these public platforms. I saw a 15 minutes of fame interview a month or two ago, and the question was asked, "How did the PG blogger start?" And the way the question was answered initially was real weird. You feel what I'm saying? So. You know, that type of shit, I'm not going to have. I have zero tolerance for lies, but, you know, I, everything else, I let it rock. Right, and that's what's up. So, I have a question in regards to, um, okay, this is this is unorthodox. I wrote this down, like, like one of the seven questions. When it comes to just the attributes of a battler, you know, you know what I mean by the attributes of a battler, what is the one thing that, that, that you know what I'm saying, that, you kind of look for that 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 you like more or less. Like me, when I, I look at a ballast for me, it's the wordplay, the wordplay and the yep. cadence of the delivery on a nigga. You know, some people like uh, similes, you know, punchlines, stuff like that. What is the attributes of, of a battler that that it is that you like? Without a shadow of a doubt, this wordplay, Lundy, like revamping, slow it down, punch every it, it, it amazes me. Like how it, everything about wordplay bars and how niggas are breaking it down. Like people be doing a lot of um, criticizing about artists how they how they do a lot of the stomping and arm movements with when they battle. I was just saying on DZ show, like I use that for preparation, knowing that niggas about to say something that I really need to be listening on because this shit going to go over my head. So, you know, I fuck with aggressiveness from niggas and shit like that, but, you know, just wordplay, how niggas are able to come up with name flips and shit like that, man. It blows my mind. And, um, my last question to you. When it all boils down, I think that you're awesome. I think that, Appreciate that. you know, you're a breath of fresh air. So the king's on the phone. I think y'all are breath of fresh air, but... What is it that you what, what is it that you want to see or, or the plateau the next step for battle rap or just hip hop or more or less battle rap because that's what we deal with the realm that we deal with what plateau or what steps do you that you want to see you know what I'm saying for for you know just in the near future honestly all I want to see is 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 everybody that I came across and worked with. You know, in this short period of time, whether it was you, you know, DZ, you know, all the other people on my debate panel, um, you know, the PGs. I just want us to win. You know, regardless of the, the relationship statuses, I want us to win. I really don't care about the, like I said, I, I love the battle rap culture, but you know what I mean? I'm not real super heavy fan favorite on these rappers and shit like that. You know what I mean? I appreciate what they do for us. You know what I mean? But... I just want us to win. I want us to be able to build, you know what I mean, come out of our shell, you know, and and, and take over, you know what I mean, bring bring a, a whole new swagger, like, when you look at sports, you know, you got the actual sports, but then you got shit like ESPN, you know what I mean, that shit is huge, you know what I mean, so I just hope eventually, you know, us as media, a, a media presence in the battle rap community, like, we can just stay focused, keep putting out dope content. You know what I mean? And when when the when the battle shine, we shine. That's it. Okay. I'm gonna beat uh, your ass, DZ. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Uh, no, it was, a, it was a dope show. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought it was uh, I thought it was a great variety of questions. And um, you know what I'm saying? I, I like I said when I first came on, like I'm gonna always support. This is one of the few networks that I support. I don't really support everybody because um, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much Hollywood and battle rap. And keep building it with y'all. I love being the only female on here. I like the fact that can't nobody do a, do what I do because I'm comfortable. I don't have no hair on my tongue. And Mitch don't either. But the thing about Mitch, he's mad cute and reserved. You know what I'm saying? But don't fuck with him. He didn't, I didn't hurt it. I didn't hurt it. Or I didn't hurt it on camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, he not with the shit. He not with the shit, so don't come to, come to him with the shit. Y'all know how Mitch is. Y'all know him longer than me. Don't come to him with the shit, you know what I'm saying? Don't come for none of these men on this panel either. Nobody. You know, y'all call up the show. You know what I'm saying? We build in healthy, healthy debates. We laugh. We, 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 we talk with knowledge. We talk what we know. And that's it. All that cornery, take that shit to the war report or whatever shows you that, 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 that entertain that shit. We don't entertain that here. Word. There it is. <laughs> that's fact. 
Why does Justin laugh? Goodness. What happened? <laughs> I said you laugh. Oh man, it's mad it's, sinister. It's it's it, it's love though. It's love though because this this is an outlet for me. You know, this is the highlight of my week. It's Wednesday. No, that's what's up. Yes, 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 it be. Okay. And y'all, y'all gonna get tired of it, but I'm sorry. I'm honored to be among all of you. Real, it don't get no real. Shout out to all the panel again. Shout out to Lundy. Crazy, crazy interview. I appreciate it. So appreciate yeah. everybody locked in with us tonight on the culture. Um, you know, uh, again, just salute to everybody that that's on the debate panel. Just shout out to everybody that I've been involved with from the geek. Um, it's, it's been real You know what I mean It's been fun mm-hmm. You know what I mean And I don't want anybody Getting confused You know what I mean I don't I don't want y'all to To try to paint the picture Not Not the, my my people But I just don't want the people to Try to paint the picture Like I Created people You know Individually You know what I mean Everybody was trying To do their own thing You know what I mean But you know We just move forward And we We just You know Doing our own shit You know what I mean That's how we giving it up But um Tomorrow we back at it Nine o'clock Y'all be safe until then. We holla at y'all one. Good night, y'all.